Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. In the set of videos, I am showing you how you can deploy your machine learning application using Flask server and in this very particular video, I am going to show you how you can get that data set, how to pre-process it and how I implemented my convolutional neural network for this project. Okay, so before downloading the data set, we should know what we are downloading and what we are making. Here actually I am using five classes for the Doodle classification. You can see the classes here, star, sun, moon, cloud and a rainbow. So we need to first download it. Actually I have used the Google's famous quick dot dataset which Google released a few years ago and which is full of Doodle drawings made from made by people all around the globe. So to get the dataset you first have to find this github repository well you can just find it by searching quick draw data set and the first link you are going to see is uh, to a repository github repository and if you scroll down you will find a uh, numpy bitmap files so if you click it it will it will redirect you to a google cloud page Wait a sec. And where you can search what classes you are going to use. Okay, so what I am going to show you, you can do it for any number of classes and any types of classes you want for this data set. So let me just search sun data set. Okay, so, so here is our sun.npy file. I have already downloaded it, so I can just show you from here. Look at this, this is the sun.npy file which contains millions of small sun images but we are not going to use this .npy files directly to our neural network, okay? So what I'm going to do here is to convert this .npy files into .png files, into several .png file images where each png file will contain one single image of the sun. So here you can also see a data folder. In this data folder, I have two subfolders named test set and train set. In both of these folders, I have my five classes. I'm just showing you the train set also, the five classes, okay? So now I'm going to show you how you can just convert this .npy file and just save the images into these folders okay uh, so let me just come to my python script so here is my python script okay so you should have installed this libraries first the numpy and pill so here i am taking the train path it is a string which contains the path to our train set and the test path which contains the path to our test set so the dot load function this loads the sun.npy file now please pay attention to this line this line actually restricts us from using the every image that the .npy file contains i'm saying you you really don't want to use every single image of this file because it is a huge file it is a file of 100 mbs and it contains millions of sun images for our purpose we really don't need that amount of data so what I'm doing here is just I'm taking first 3000 images. Now this is the loop where the magical conversion happens. So if I just, just run this portion, you can just see this. Here is the data variable. Now, now what is the data variable? Data variable is the loaded NPI file, okay? This is just the, it is just showing me the npy file you can see the dimension of this data variable is 3000 by 784 so why 784 because the images that npy file contains is of size 28 by 28 so you can do the math with your own and you can see that it should be 784 okay and as I am taking only first 3000 images, that's why it's showing 3000. So what this first three lines are doing is just taking the rows 
this row and this huge row and converting it into a black and white image okay so these two lines actually a little bit fancy why because here the splitting in test set and train set happens you can see from this line it's taking the first 2400 images into the train folder and the rest of this images into the test folder okay so if you just run this if you just run this you can see that your test set in the sun you will have 600 images and in the trend set sun 2400 images so that is that was all for the data pre-processing thing now I'm going to show you how I have built my convolutional neural network before starting to build the convolutional neural network I must say that you should have installed Keras and TensorFlow in your environment because I'm using Keras and I'm using TensorFlow as its backend so I am assuming that you are familiar with CNN a little bit because I am not going to go into the details the detailed concepts of convolutional neural network I will just show you how I implemented it and I am not doing anything fancy so it should be easy to understand and it is pretty generic thing so as usual I have uh, installed I have imported the sequential class from keras.models I have also imported the classes convolution in 2d max pool in 2d flatten dense and drop out now the model is equal to a sequential because it is a sequential model now here is the first convolutional layer the filter is 32 I am using 32 filters the kernel size is 3 comma 3 the activation should be re relu which stands for rectifier linear unit and the input shape is 28 28 1 why this thing because our images are si are of size 28 comma 28 by 28 and it is a grayscale image that's why 1 so similarly I have a second convolutional layer and then I have one pooling layer and the pool size of 2 comma 2 now here I have added a dropout because I don't really want a overfitted model now here comes our third convolution layer don't worry about the code you will get the code from my github repository here is the fourth convolution layer please notice that in the first two convolution layers I have used 32 filters only but in the second two convolution layers I have used 64 and 64 and the activation should be rectified linear now here is my second pooling layer now here I had it another dropout to avoid the overfitting now as usual the flatten layer now comes the neural network part the fully connected layer here the my hidden layer contains 256 neurons and the activation is as usual rectify linear unit now here is the final layer the output dimension should be 5 because I am using 5 classes as I have mentioned previously and the activation is soft match because I, I want to have probabilities that add up to 1 now here is the compile I should I'm compiling this CNN and the opt optimizer that I've used is Adam. The loss function is categorical cross entropy. And if you are using just only two classes, then it should be binary cross entropy. And the matrix, I'm just using a simple accuracy matrix.
Now here is the part with the keras.preprocessing.image and the image data generator I'm importing. So this part just takes the images from your folders. You can see the in the data gen as I am using 3000 images which is comparatively a lower number of images for a CNN. So it will just generate new images by just rotating, <clears throat> just width shifting, the height shifting, rescaling and some shear change and some zoom also and I'm also using some horizontal flip but I didn't use any vertical flip now here I'm using flow from directory method from Keras if you want to know more about how to just get the data how to just input the data in your models in your Keras models you can just always go to their website they have really beautiful documentations so here we have made our neural network now it is the time to train it this is where the training happens actually I should run this portion to show you how this actually works so look we have got 12,000 images belonging to 5 classes and 3,000 images belonging to 5 classes. This is the training portion and this is the testing portion. I hope you understand these things. Now this is the thing where the actual training happens. Now I am not going to train it because I have already trained it. And a really handy tip that I should give you is to use the Google Colab to train your model because they are offering you free GPU I don't have a GPU from my com for my computer so I have just trained it here so after that you can just download the model by running this code I've also written this code here just save the model here if you are if you have a GPU then it's good enough for you to just run, just run this thing in your computer and just after doing this thing it will just save the model in a .h5 file and if you want a JSON file you can just run this code and it will save the JSON file so that was all for this video. I have just shown you how you can get the data set, the Google Squid Draw data set and how you can build your simple CNN model. And in the later videos, I'm going to show you how to proceed further with this project. Basically, in the next video, I will be showing you how to make a simple flask app. And then afterwards, I will be showing you how to accommodate this machine learning things with the, with the flask. And if you are feeling a little bit more enthusiastic about machine learning and creative coding, then please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.